Good day ladies and gentlemen, Bow to Weather here with the latest update on the weather in the continental United States and the Caribbean. We hope that you're having a wonderful day and preparing for uh, Thanksgiving, even in a very small and discreet setting. So we have a lot to talk about, so let's get right into it. Uh, there is a gale warning with a low pressure area and ridge just, um, just east of the Bahamas but we anticipate that it will be able to dissipate in the next 12 hours or so. Uh, with so much tropical storm activity in the Gulf this year, there is still a deep layer of dry air which is leading to some fair uh, weather for the people of the Caribbean. Notif noticeably those in Jamaica and Grand Cayman uh, granting somewhat of a slight reprieve from the major flooding and thunderstorm activity from just the last 30 days or so. With a high with a strong high pressure in the southeast United States, there, there is, uh, it is moving east and there is a cold front that is moving east. So uh, supporting east to south, uh, supporting east to southwest winds and then we anticipate that the cold front will push uh, east and then northward um, late Thursday of this week. Uh, there is a forecast for zone of high pressure centered just over North Carolina to bring favorable um, weather to the north part of the Gulf of Mexico with uh, fresh easterly winds moving through the Gulf but this is all ahead of a cold front that is expected to reach the Gulf and then move north later in the week. Uh, Jamaica and Puerto Rico can expect some scattered showers and the high pressure area over the Gulf of Mexico supports moderately good weather in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, the wind will pick up in the Central Caribbean today through Thursday and with uh, exception of some scattered showers in Jamaica and Puerto Rico, um, the weather is expected to be moderate and fair in Central Caribbean for the next 24 to 48 hours. There is moderate wind activity behind that cold front that is expected to ext extend down into the northern Gulf of Mexico before the system starts to make a north northeasterly track. So, as always, please go ahead and subscribe and uh, click the notification bell and like this video. Um, we try to bring you the latest updates. Um, so here at the Weather Center, we are tracking uh, possible widespread heavy rainfall across the South Continental United States from Friday through Monday of, of next week. With a trough lingering near the northern and southern streams and upper low, near south central area of the U.S. is, is causing some potential alarm for um, heavy rainfall from eastern half of Texas through pretty much the rest of the southeast United States, most notably states like Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, Tennessee, and possibly North Florida. As this cold front um, we talked about is moving east eastward and shifting north eventually, the potential for heavy rainfall starting from the eastern half of Texas to the, the southwest United States is very likely. We anticipate the weather changing drastically for some, for most people in the south of the United States after Thanksgiving around December 2nd through December 7th with increased precipitation and snowfall. Based on the, the latest um, North uh, Atlantic Oscillation Model, we are setting uh, increased activity with respect to Arctic, uh, excuse me, North the North um, Arctic Oscillation, and we're uh, citing increased activity. We have been tracking a trough low across the, the West, which could bring um, uh, snowfall to the Rockies and cooler temperatures to the Southern Plains. Uh, then there is the upper trough low, which uh, we have been speculating could bring significant rainfall to the East Texas uh, through the Southeast, even the Carolinas early next week. With the low moving eastward and then northward, moder uh, moderate precipitation could spread into the Ohio Valley and Mid-Atlantic Northeast um, with, a, with a real wintry blast felt near the, the Great Lakes and interior Northeast by early next week. The eastern United States could get the relief that they're looking for from hot and balmy temperatures, especially in the central and eastern United States, as the cold front makes its way through to the northern Gulf and shifts northerly. For most of the next week, the cold front surface low may help to bring um, precipitation to the northeast also. 
uh, we can actually see that the, the trough low uh, making its way across the United States on Friday it centers somewhere near the border of Arizona and New Mexico with a deep layer of warm air. Um, high pressure over the Caribbean bringing moderately fair weather to the Central Caribbean. As we approach the weekend, the trough low impacts East Texas and we anticipate heavy rainfall over the weekend through the early next week as moisture seeps in from the Gulf um, with the trough low migrating east and then eventually making a northerly track. The convergence of the trough low with moisture from the Gulf potentially means heavy rainfall for eastern half of Texas through southeast up to the Carolinas. As we get into Monday and Tuesday of next week, we can see that trough low pressure migrating northerly and with it brings a potential of wintry weather in the Ohio Valley region. We want to forecast a few inches of, of snow in the nor uh, lower elevations as this high energy trough low migrates northerly and we speculate more inches of snow at higher elevations later on in the week. This high energy trough low means wet when, uh, weather, weather for southern states such as Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, uh, and northern Florida, and the Carolinas. It might impact those returning from Thanksgiving uh, if we do plan to travel regardless of uh, any advisories. This heavy rainfall may impact travelers and cause airline delays across the southeast and may lead to sketchy driving uh, conditions in the south southeastern states for this travel weekend for Thanksgiving. So please exercise a little bit more caution than usual with respect to weather conditions on United States highways this weekend. As we look to the latter part of the weekend, uh, we throw some caution to the wind for the people of the Northeast as a trough flow extends near Ohio, Illinois, Wisconsin, and perhaps Kentucky. Freezing rain and icy conditions are possible and may cause transportation issues on the highways in the Northeast and this trough flow as it heads northerly. We increase our cautionary advisors at this time as more Americans will take to the highways to celebrate the Thanksgiving Day and enjoy the weekend with fa family and friends. Please be aware of decaying safety issues with the nation's highways if in the case of heavy rainfall, precipitation, as well as any snowfall that may lead to icy conditions on the roadways this Thanksgiving Day and a weekend and please plan your itinerary ahead of time to avoid any travel delays especially with respect to any trains and airlines and um, also anticipate you should heavy heavy rainfall in the south uh, southeast states um, if we speculate a situation where tremendous rainfall and precipitation is to be expected in the southeast states as some uh, meteorologists are forecasting then all those affected in those areas should be cautionary when traveling for thanksgiving day and the weekend even into early next week such as monday and tuesday we do anticipate very wet conditions with cooling temperatures for the southeast and possibly wintry weather conditions for the northeast into early next week. Increased snowfall in the Great Plains may lead to icy conditions on the roadways in states such as Ohio, Pennsylvania, Maryland, and New York. Please exercise great caution when traveling this Thanksgiving day, uh, holiday. And as always, if you enjoy weather-related content, please subscribe and click the notification to see the latest video as soon as it's released so that you can stay informed and alert and ready to take action ahead of any treacherous weather conditions that may impact you and your family now and in the near future. Here at the Weather Center at bowtoweather.com, we're always tracking potentially hazardous weather conditions to keep our subscribers on YouTube in the know and informed so that they can stay frosty and alert and ready to take action to protect themselves and their property in the event weather conditions decay very quickly. As always, we appreciate you watching this video. Please share with friends and family. and. Um, Please enjoy your holiday weekend. 
Uh, we'll try to keep you informed of any weather uh, conditions that may be uh, impacting as, the, uh, as we go into the weekend and uh, this weather, uh, especially in the, this w uh, winter s season. So you can enjoy the holidays with your friends and family and stay ahead of any storm or treacherous activity. Thank you and good day. And as always, please remember to subscribe, click that notification bell, like and share. And as always, always remember to bow to weather. Thank you.